Once upon a time, there was a little girl who lived with her mother and father in a small cottage on the edge of a dark forest. Whenever the girl went out, she wore a beautiful red hooded coat that her mother had made. So everybody called her Little Red Riding Hood. One day, her mother asked, Would you kindly take a basket of biscuits and jam to Grandmother? She has not been feeling well, and I know a visit from you would cheer her up. Red Riding Hood thought it would be brilliant to see her grandmother. She put on her coat, took the basket in hand, and said goodbye to her mother. As she headed down the path, her mother called out, Be sure and go straight to grandmother's, and don't talk to strangers, the forest can be a dangerous place. Along the way, Little Red Riding Hood sang songs and gathered flowers for her grandmother. Now it happened that a very mean wolf heard her song and longed to eat her for his breakfast. But he knew her father the woodman was working nearby and feared he would hear Red Riding Hood cry for help if he frightened her. So the wolf very gently said to Red Riding Hood, Good day, little Red Riding Hood. Where are you headed on such a fine afternoon? To visit my sick grandmother and deliver her biscuits and jam. And where does your grandmother live? asked the sneaky wolf. Deep in the middle of the forest, said Little Red Riding Hood. Ah, I believe I know the house. Good day, said the wolf, and off he ran into the forest. It was such a lovely day. Red Riding Hood was in no hurry and moved slowly through the forest. Soon she passed her father, hard at work chopping trees. He asked, Little Red, where are you off to all alone in the forest? Mother asked that I check in on Grandmother. You best make haste, it grows late, said her father, and off she hurried. While Little Red Riding Hood was at play in the woods, the mean wolf galloped quickly ahead to the old woman's house. You see, Grandmother lived all alone. She was quite old and feeble. However, her kindly neighbors checked in on her daily, helping to tidy the house and get her food. When the wolf reached the cottage, he tapped on the door. Who is there? Asked the old lady. Granny, is little Red Riding Hood? Said the wolf, disguising his voice. Oh, come in, my dear. Said the old lady, who is a little hard of hearing. And that he did, and being quite hungry, he wanted to gobble Granny right up, but he knew Red Riding Hood was not far behind. He locked Granny in the closet, dressed himself in Granny's nightcap, and climbed into her bed. Soon, Red Riding Hood came upon the cottage and tapped on the door. Come in, said the wolf in a hoarse squeaky voice. Red Riding Hood thought her grandmother must have a bad cold to sound so hoarse. She opened the door and found Granny in bed. Mother sends fresh biscuits and jam, said Red Riding Hood. Come closer, my dear, and let me give you a kiss, said the wicked wolf. As Red Riding Hood got closer, she grew frightened. Grandmother, what a great nose you have said Red Riding Hood. All the better to smell with, my dear, said the hungry wolf. And Grandmother, what big ears you have, said Red Riding Hood. All the better to hear with, my dear, said the wolf. Ah, and what big eyes you have, said Red Riding Hood. All the better to see with, said the wolf, showing his large teeth. Oh, Grandmother, what large teeth you have, said Red Riding Hood. All oh, the better to eat you up with, said the wolf, and jumping out of bed, he rushed at Red Riding Hood. Just at that moment, the door flew open. It was the brave and strong woodsman. He jumped at the wolf, saving little Red Riding Hood and her grandmother. And they all lived happily ever after. Thank <laughs> you.